perfect. Cool. Well, thank you so much, Nate and Matthew, for performing on Advocate Sessions. Thanks for having us. It was a pleasure to have you guys. It was awesome. Yeah, uh, one thing that that really struck me is, like, how how different your solo material is from the the material you perform with Outer Style. Is, Is this come from a more personable place for you, or...? Um... I, I mean, personal is weird because I definitely wrote all the songs in Outer Style too, so it's yeah. like, I mean, they're both personal. Th- these are more like songs that I've like kind of collected over the years that have had like a very kind of, you know, socially conscious kind of like way about them, you know, like, and it's not, I don't wouldn't say they're more personal, but they definitely are more like emotional maybe, you know, more... Yeah, I, I kind of got that impression. Yeah. I mean, well, our style is like kind of more like in your face, you know, you know, rocking out. Like the lyrics are almost secondary in Outer Style, whereas this the really, you know, first and foremost, you know. Yeah, it's, it's kind of that. Full it's more form lyrical, form. more yeah. Um, one one thing I really appreciated is like the the lyrical content. Uh, there there's a lot of like uh, kind of political topics that you yeah. kind of covered and. Uh, it was really cool because uh, your approach—it was—it wasn't—it wasn't ever contrived, or it didn't seem like very preachy at all. I mean, yeah, thank you. It, it, it seems to come. It's from, honest. It's honest yeah. for sure. Like I'm not trying to preach by any means. These are things that, you know, questions we all kind of deal with, and it's kind of me asking them more, more or less than rather than being like, "Here's what you should do," kind of thing, you know. So, Which is, you know. So what are your uh, some of your biggest influences uh, in terms of your, your solo material, uh, this record uh, that oh. you just uh, are about to release? I'm, I'm, uh, I'm influenced by so much music, you know, like, but, like, like this stuff I feel like has like that kind of like Neil Youngy kind of like vibe to the music, at least on the record, you know? Um, but I don't know, I mean, I'm, I'm influenced by, you know, everything, and this record is kind of like you said, it's kind of more influenced by like, you know, like the, the politics and like the societal stuff more more so than like musically. It's not like it's so out there by any means. Like it's not like, you know, any a million people have written so, written songs like this with these chords. You know, it's just more about the lyrics. You know, so. Gotcha. Yeah. So when did you guys uh, start uh, first start performing together? And. Uh, um, probably about a year a year or so ago. He also plays. Like that. He plays with. Uh, our friend Rob, uh, what was his last name? Mador. Maher. Maher, yeah. All over the place. But they're in a group too called Fuzz Puddle, and also he plays cello with with Rob Maher solo group too. So and I saw them playing, and I was like, just asked if he wanted to kind of do some. Actually, I asked if he wanted to record on the record first, and then he kind of just been playing some gigs, and it's yeah. sweet. It, did you guys uh, record together too for the album? He recorded on a few of the two of the tracks, two of the tracks. Uh, what was that process like, uh, just being in the studio working on this material that you've kind of collected over the years? Yeah, yeah, it was, it was, it was pretty like it was like kind of a relief, like kind of lethargic too, and kind of like also nostalgic in a way. Cause I'm like thinking back on these tracks, but then when I listen to it afterwards, like and just hearing them as a new thing, it's pretty awesome. Like I've listened to this record quite a few times actually. I'm really, really proud of that. I don't always do that with records, you know. Like a lot of times I'll just make them and then. Not listen to them, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, do you have any gigs coming up? Uh, say like, well, yeah. I say like mid December, January. December tenth is when I'm releasing this this record with most of the material I played today. Matthew's gonna be there. I'm gonna have a full band that reco- the full band that recorded it with me. Like I said, an eavesdrop sang uh, harmonies and backups on some of the tracks. So they're gonna be doing their own set there. They're really, really good trio, all vocal, all, all female vocal group, and they did the backups on it. So they're going to be doing their own set as well as they're going to be performing with the live band doing their parts. Matthew's going to be doing his parts as well as performing a duo set with me to kick it off, like this. So it's going to be the duo set, eavesdrop trio, and then me with the full band, and that's December 10th at Hawks and Reed awesome. in Greenfield. Well, thanks so much for performing. It was yep. an absolute pleasure. Thanks for having me yeah. once again. It's been great. Cool. Thank you, thank you guys. Thanks, man. Cool.